also known as Kamalu, the original name for this surf spot in this area on the north shore of Oahu. Marimamiya, local boy, who just won the most prestigious event on the calendar at Pipeline, wears the yellow jersey, but tries to avoid elimination against Frederico Morais and Kai Lenny. Frederico Morais, longtime tour specialist, especially when it comes to big rides like Sunset and Kai Lenny. A few of the surfers, as we look here to, uh, during the break, this is Kai. Beautiful first turn there, carves through that section and lines up again. So a couple of nice moves there. That was scoring four for that last one. And then Frederico Marais on his opener. <laughs> Beautiful layback hack there for Fred. It's just a one turn, but... But Sunset was always a great venue for him when it served as the last qualifying event in the past. Just understood it quickly, had a direct relationship with this wave as we see Frederico up now, known as Kikish, back home in Portugal. We'll knife that end section, coming down with some great turns. Already has another number to support the 433. That was an incredibly hard wave to surf. Um, but yeah, that, this wave here, just super hard. Like even here, just beautiful read. Sort of identifying, hey, I'm going to wait for this first section. Times it straight up into the lip there. It's another finishing maneuver, but just so much lump and bump to contend with. But yeah, I really like that decision of just waiting for it here. Straight up into the lip and hits it one more time. He's in that famous final back when uh, it was Nicky Wood and himself at Bells, those 16 and 17 year olds in a final at one of the most prestigious events on the calendar. The older guard didn't like that <laughs> too much of the time. As we now see Kai Lenny. Gets that nice rip off the top. Just a one maneuver section for Kai. That can actually tell you, you know, what they see. And when you know they have your best interest in mind, those people are so valuable. Oh. Here's Baron Mamiya, number one in the world. A former champ out here trying to avoid a loss in the elimination round. Nice clean work through that top turn wrap as he's still just getting started. Called that pipe day the best win of his life, best day of his life. When he won Sunset at the time, that was the best day of his life. <laughs> what do you think here? Yeah, just trying to get, get a couple of turns on the board. Obviously, this one was a smaller wave. A little bit of a foamy face there, but surfing's looking really good. Um, after I mean, he looked so good as we have a look. This happened in that post-heat interview. This is Baron. You can see him just sort of stalling, sort of identifying. There was that little barrel section there. But we didn't open up just the way he wanted it to. As we look out the back at Kigas, beautiful opening first turn, straight up into the lip there. And I just really love his style and technique when he really lays into one of those carving maneuvers. For sure, I mean, all those waves you just listed, I mean, I think J-Bay, right hand are here, right, Halieva are right. And then right here, Baron Mabia hitting the lip well. Nice tempo to this wave. Throwing a nice carve and then Kind of a lean back slash on the shoulder as it fades. So three maneuvers to enjoy there for Mavia. Oh. Yes, Jimmy. Also DJ Makana Pang. Yeah. He, he was definitely providing the tunes for Baron's after party as we check this one out. Yeah, this is a groovy little wave from Baron. Really providing a lot of variety there. So he's heading the right direction to move into the round of 32 as we prepare for another ride here. We've got Kai Lenny. The wild card from Maui, big wave legend. Throwing down a nice arc off the top. Nice pace off the bottom and throws some water on the second effort. As Kai's chasing the 5-3-3. Check out this one, Flick. Yeah, this wave had a bit of size to it. You can see he's really waiting here for this first turn. The carving maneuver kind of got a little bit stuck up there, but this last turn here, I really love this. I feel like that timing was was a lot better than the first one. And I mean, he needs 5-3-3, three, three, right? So Kai Lenny falling short on the score he needed to move into the top two. And now a big attempt for a huge car from Baron Mamiya goes incomplete. I mean, it's scary times. You can only have one throwaway event before the cut of mine. Rolling into this one, Frederico Marais with a ton of speed and looking to burn some of that speed for the pit. Just a quick look at the barrel as he had so much momentum. 
probably wanted more time in there. Marsh, one more look at this one. Yeah, this is really hard wave to read. You can see he was eyeing up this barrel here, sort of gets in it for a hot little minute. But yeah, it looks like he wanted to hit that second section, but it just broke so fast. And He's got big media responsibilities. And it's, uh, it was cool to see that relationship with the fans at home with Frederico back when he was getting wild cards as we watch Kai Lenny deep on this one. Sort of looked like that was going to be a really nice wave. I reckon it ran off. It's hard to tell, but that one looked like it sort of really stood up and it sort of ran off um, in front of So Baron knows that he gets knocked out in the elimination round. I mean, that yellow jersey is going to change hands. As he has a nice look at the pit here, Baron Mamiya straight into the pocket, pulls in and gets shut down on the exit. Yeah, it's such a good read there for that wave. Just knew it was going to barrel and just really had both hands in the wall of the wave there, really slowed himself down. When he's got a big open face to work with, it reminds you of all the different types of waves he has to surf in Portugal that would prepare him for a wave like this. Baron's up now. Followed out for a moment. He'll throw that one away. And next wave setting up for Kikish, Federico Marias, wrapping cutback. Deep off the bottom and uses a lot of that rail line. Creative track there on the wrapping cutback. And just a carving maneuver there. Maybe he thought that this wave was going to stand up a little bit more. That turn there was just a little bit funky. He just kind of hit this big wobble. As he will enjoy that right in. I'm sure there was a lot of pressure on him to perform and to make sure that he stays world number one. He'll be heading into the beach and probably be dancing to some DJ Pang very <laughs> shortly until we see him again in the round of 32.